hey everybody welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to see how we can get the processes that are there in the classic folder by using orchestrator api calls so for that we should have a process that is created in our studio and that should be published into orchestrator and uh, from the previous video we will have the environment id we have to cross check if that is uh, existing in our request after we get the request and also we have to check the release key that we are going to use in the next request so in this video i'm going to show you all these steps and how we are gonna connect all these dots in order to go to the next request so the first first and the foremost criteria is you should create a process in your studio so for that uh, let me go to the studio and I just took a small uh, process, nothing, uh, just kept a log message and given a text uh, with information testing the orchestrator API and make sure that it's in the main and also this will start the processes only which are uh, unattended and uh, which are production and testing, it will not uh, start the process that are in attended automation mode. So make sure um, that you're creating a robot, which is of attended type that we will discuss in the next video more clearly. But just for understanding, I just picked up that point and I just created a, a particular process that is there inside the main and you have to publish the process into your orchestrated tenant. So where exactly you wanted to deploy the process. So as we are doing the classic folder, uh, doing all these things in the classic folder. So I'm gonna publish this into my classic folder orchestrator. So this is my tenant. So where I have connect connected to default, right? So I will, uh, I have already deployed this. So let me go over here. So here I am um, in my tenant. So if you see under classic folder, so under my classic folder, under this automation, so I have my process, right? So I just took my process, I deployed the package and I have connected that package to this particular process, which is classic process API, okay? That's the name I have given. And uh, whenever you're deploying the process, so let's say, if you're not sure how to deploy, I'm just giving a small rough idea. So this is my package that I've deployed. So you should link it with an environment, okay? So make sure that you're linking it with the proper environment. So what is the environment ID that I got from the previous uh, uh, request? So if you're not sure how we have done that, I would suggest you please watch the previous videos on this particular playlist, how to get the environments using uh, or Postman in the classic folder, okay? So if you see, we've got this particular environment, right? That is a classic environment. So this ID, correct? So that is one thing. So this environment I'm linking with and next and next, and then you can create the process with the process name. So just say, save and then you can create it so i have already created this particular process classic process api so we have seen how to create and how to publish and uh, the environment environment id for that particular uh, environment from the previous request right so now what i'm going to do i'm going to do an api call to get the processes from the postman okay so here is my guide uh, orchestrator guide um, so here i'm having get releases by name so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this particular endpoint go to my postman so this is my postman right so i'm gonna paste this over here and i'm gonna change this with this particular url so once after that is done, what is the other thing? We should add the headers as it mentioned over here. So what are the things we should add? We should give the tenant name, but I have given the tenant name over here. So that's not required. I should give the organization unit ID. So what is the organization unit ID that I should provide here? 
we all know from the get folders we will get the id so this is the default folder from where i wanted to get my um, particular uh, process right so i will be taking this particular id which is corresponding to my default folder that is classic folder so i have pasted it over here if you just click on send it will throw an error which we have already seen in the previous videos which is 404 authorization so for that you should uh, connect this to a barrier token so if you don't know what is a barrier token please watch the previous video which is authentication so i will provide the links for those videos in the description else you can just go to my channel and under playlist you can go to the playlist which is uh, orchestrator api postman so you can see so you can see all these videos, uh, which is authentication and uh, getting the folders and getting the environments. These are the prerequisites that you have to know before you actually coming to this point. So I have provided the authorization, which is the barrier token that I have got for this request. And just click on the send. If you see here, you can see the process that I have in my classic folder. So what is the process that I have? classic process api right so this process i can see over here and you just have to copy this key which is a release key that i will be using in the next step so let me go over to my notepad and just take this process uh, release key so we will be using this key in the next step which is create, uh, getting the robots from the particular uh, folder so if you just observe let's look into this one which is a uh, 200 is a successful uh, uh, which is status code and we can also see the value contains all the information like key process key uh, which is a smart hack this is the package that i have deployed and this is the package version so you should understand what are these values because we will be using them while uh, automating the things through http request okay and um, we can see the description which is a we haven't given any description and the name of the uh, process is classic process api this is environment id so if you have seen in the earlier request we have given one three uh, we have got one six double three eight nine which is an environment id corresponding to classic environment right so i have got this particular environment so let's say if you have created a new process so let's assume um i have uh you know created a new process and deployed and definitely i am um not going to link it with the same thing so if i have added a new process i don't think it will come because uh, it's the same uh, thing same environment that i'm having so let's say if you have connected it with the new thing then definitely you should get a new environment id so that you can cross check over here and what are the other important things that you can look into your id okay so this id we will be using in the later stages okay so that's it uh, this is how we can get the processes that are there in the classic folder for modern folder it will be a little bit different uh, i will show in the future videos and the next video i will be talking about how we will uh, get all the robots that are there in the classic folder okay so using postman so if you like the video and uh, if you wanted to do some hands-on i'll provide all the information for you in the link uh, in the description box you can just check out that and you can just try it on your own and also if you're jumping here for the first time i would request you please watch the previous videos that will give you so much understanding because the basics has to be strong to be better in the future we future concepts so do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will get the videos as soon as i upload them thank you so much for watching if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button